Hello and welcome to the daily number workout for third grade. Today we are on the number 11. So let's start with word form. So you should have written out word form and the word 11. And so it's E L E V E N 11. Make sure you have that right. And then because it has a one in the ones place, it is odd. All right, let's find the factors of 11. So what two numbers multiplied together equal 11? So that would be one times 11. Two doesn't go in because it's odd. Three doesn't go in because we go three, six, nine, 12, passes it right up. Four doesn't go in because we go two fours are eight, three fours are 12, passes it right up. Five doesn't go in because it has to end in a zero or a five. Six doesn't go in because six times two is 12. Seven doesn't go in eight, nine, 10. So nothing else goes in. So the only factors is one times 11 to get 11. So because it's only one in itself is its factors, it is prime. All right. So let's go with addition. So just going through these problems helps us to remember. Lots of practice makes perfect, not perfect, but much better. 11 plus one equals 12. 11 plus two equals 13. So you should have done all of this before you came to my video. And that way you're just checking your work and remember, if you get something wrong, like this was wrong, just put a line through it and write the correct answer next to it. Don't erase. 11 plus three equals 14. 11 plus four equals 15. 11 plus five equals 16. 11 plus six equals 17. 11 plus eight, I'm oh, sorry, seven, see, make a mistake, it's real easy to do, seven equals 18, 11 plus eight equals 19, 11 plus nine equals 20, and 11 plus 10 equals 21. Looking good, let's go on to subtraction. So remember, subtraction is multi uh, addition backwards. So we're going to start with 21 at the top here. 21 minus 11 equals 10. 21 minus 10 equals 11. Whoops. 21 minus... I'm sorry. 20, 20 minus 10. Oops. 20 minus 11. I'm getting all confused. We're on the number 11. Let me remind myself. See how easy that is? 20 minus 11 is nine. 19 minus 11, we wanna keep on doing minus 11 and coming down on our numbers over here, is eight. 18 minus 11 equals seven. 17 minus 11 equals six. 16 minus 11 equals five. So six minus one is five. One minus one is nothing. So you can see where we're getting this. 15 minus 11 equals four. 14 minus 11 equals three. 13 minus 11 equals two. And 12 minus 11 equals one. All right, so we can compare it with their matching families. So 11 plus one is 12, 12 minus 11 is one. Let's go on to multiplication. So this year you're working with your multiplication and you're gonna get better and better with it, but we just go over here making it fun and easy. Let's do 11 times one equals 11, of course. Any number times one equals itself. 11 times two. So we're going to come over here and we're going to do addition to show our multiplication. So multiplication is just making addition easier, but let's do 11 plus 11. So that is two 11s, two, one, two 11. So we got one plus one is two, one plus one is two. So 
Two 11s is 22. 11 times three, we could add 11 more. So you can see how that works. Two plus one is three. Two plus one is three. So that would be 33. And if you notice the pattern, four times 11 will be 44. 11 times five would be 55. 11 times six would be 66. We could keep adding on and it would work out and we'd have all the right answers. You can do it any way you would like. I'm just gonna fill in the blanks here for you. 11 times seven equals 77. 11 times eight equals 88 because we're doing eight times one is eight. Eight times 10 is 80, so we have 88. 11 times nine equals 99 and 11 times 10, any number times 10 is that number with a zero in the ones place. Boom, we're done with our multiples of 11. So these are considered multiples. All the answers are multiples. Also the answers of all multiplication is products. So if they're asking you for a product of some numbers, they want you to multiply them. Multiples are, these are multiples of 11. So these are all multiples of 11. And then we have addition. The answers to addition is the sum. All right, let's go on to our linear measurement. I'm gonna collect those up. Our linear measurement. So we're talking about inches, feet, and yards. Linear measurement. So this is standard form measurement. So if we have 11 inches, that is equal to 11 out of 12. So we have 11 twelfths of a foot. So there's our introduction to our fractions. And that would be 11 out of 36. It takes 36 inches to make a yard. So we have 11 36 of a yard. So that's our little introduction. Write it down if you don't have it. Um, as we go, once you start working with fractions in your fraction unit, all of this will make sense. So it's just putting a little bit of uh, knowledge in your brain for future use. All right, we're gonna do centimeters. So we have 11 centimeters and that would be a CM. This is metric form of linear measurement. So linear measurement is all about length. Like if we're gonna measure a string, a rope or the distance around an object and it takes 10 centimeters to make a decimeter. So we're gonna put our 11 centimeters over 10. And I want you to write put an arrow here and I want you to write, that means out of that line. So 11 out of 10, or it means divide by. It could mean either or, hopefully you can see that. Yes. All right. So what I wanna do is I wanna take tens out of this. So if I take a 10 away, it would be 10 plus one. And I put that over the denominator. So this is the numerator. I'm gonna break the numerator up into tens. I can get one 10 out of it, and then I still have one more. So if I was to add these up, 10 plus one is 11 over 10. The decimeter doesn't change. The bottom number, which is a decimeter, I'm sorry, uh, sorry, numerator and denominator. Get my things all messed up. So this means that I can get one decimeter out of that, one whole with one tenth left over. So I have with 11 centimeters, I have one and one tenth decimeter. Just write it down. It will all make sense down the road. We have 11 out of 100 meters. So it takes 100 centimeters to make a meter. So we have 11 hundredths of a meter. All right, we're done with the number 11. I will see you the next time we meet for the number 12. Have a great day.